Good evening, humans. Transverse Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the combatants' fight for glory fails the Shredder figure from Zezre Studio. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks fantastic, and uh, honestly, we've seen most of this before. This is uh, the exact same body uh, and armor bits that we saw with Kitatu. So pretty much all the sculpt here is the same, almost not all of it, obviously, uh, where we have a rhino, but we have a bull here. And uh, you know, we get some added pieces as well. So um, really the, the new stuff is obviously the colors. So we got all black plastic for the body here. And uh, then the accent color, you know, we still get that silver for the metal, but then we get yellow as an accent on the leather pieces. And that looks very, very nice. Uh, we also get a chain coming across the belt piece here, which we did not obviously get with the other figure. Uh, the center piece is different where it's a skull. Uh, there's clearly a peg under there. Um, so this probably just pops out with, with a little bit of heat. Then we get the loincloth, which this time, instead of being cloth, is actually a white fur, which actually looks very, very nice. Feels wonderful as well. Got these nice leather drapes here in the back with that red accent. Absolutely love that. Uh, clean paint all around, especially with all the, you know, little rivets here. And uh, yeah, so again, very much the same, just kind of a color swap up to this point. Uh, even this gauntlet is the same as we saw with Katatu, except, you know, the yellow bands. And uh, then we, we do get a bicep band, which is new, has the same spikes, same color scheme. Uh, obviously, as the rest of the armor, so it ties in. Very nice, clean paint all around. The other gauntlet is, you know, kind of some leather wraps with some chain over it. Then we get some real chain with a morning star piece at the end of it. Really love that, especially the, si uh, the shade of silver they used. Very, very nice. And uh, finally, obviously the big difference is that as a bull, so we get a new head sculpt and uh, really love the way this is done. No shading, no highlights, doesn't really need it. The black plastic they used here totally just carries it. Uh, not only that, but the mouth, really nice paint going on in there. You can see the teeth going all the way back. Tongue is fully painted. Nice touch with a little, like, little bit, of a, bit of a wound here on the lip. And then we get those piercing red eyes. And then finally, these awesome horns, really love the shape of those, especially that they come from this like kind of yellowish brown up into black, just really menacing and awesome looking figure. We get a nice group of accessories here. So let's jump right in talking about hands first. And uh, we do get our grips right out of the box. Then we get a pair of fists and finally a pair of splayed out hands. So pretty much all the stuff we would expect and we saw with the other figure. Uh, then finally, we get a pair of interchangeable feet. So we get hooves this time, uh, but also with those wraps with the yellow uh, and they are designated left and right. So you know which ones go there. Uh, and they also included in the bag uh, for those, just a little notice to, um, this will focus, there we go. Um, so obviously apply heat, you know, give it a warm bath or something like that before you remove the feet. Otherwise you're possibly gonna damage it. So nice little warning there. And then finally we get this incredible looking ax. Really love the shape of this, the shade shading they did as well. The black that kind of like fades into the, the silver looks very, very much nicely worn and natural. We get that wood grain. We get the, you know, kind of support here at the back. Then we get the grip with again, the yellow coming back into it. And then we get the grip at the bottom, which a lot more clean, looks a little out of place actually with how worn everything else is, but uh, still very, very nicely done, clean paint all around. So that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here are definitely very nice. Uh, we do have freestanding kicks. This did take some work to get into, however, so definitely worth noting. Something about this feels a little weightier than uh, Katachu did. Whoa, uh, knock him over. <laughs> Uh, so getting into the finer points, pretty much exactly what we saw before. So we do have a barbell joint coming from the neck into the head. And uh, so we get that much down. We can come that far up. We do get side to side. The head here is definitely a lot looser than it was with Katachu as well. Uh, we do get an open mouth so we can open that much. Close all the way. Uh, of course, we get rotation there as well. Then we come to the arms and uh, or the shoulders, and we do have that front um, butterfly joint. Doesn't really go back; just kind of comes to neutral, and then swings forward. The uh, right one here is a little more free. You can see that kind of moves a little more freely there. 
Then we come to arms and we can come up to just about a T. We do a bicep swivel. We have single jointed arms, which come just before 90. Part of that is a gauntlet, part of it's just a sculpt. We do get a uh, hinge sw swivel, s swivel, hinge swivel here for the hands. Uh, so we can go a lot of places, but uh, we are definitely limited by the gauntlets kind of being in the way. So you can take those off if you kind of want to get more range. Then we come to the body and we get a ball joint at the diaphragm, ball joint at the waist, but you know, we're, we're going to be limited by that belt. Uh, we do get some fantastic arch back, honestly, considering everything. And uh, then we get forward and uh, getting covered by the arm there. So very nice there. We do get some rotation there as well. Come to the hips and uh, we're coming out to get almost full split, which is beautiful. Uh, not as squeaky as Katachi was either. We do get some thigh swivel there. We get some double jointed knees, which fold beautifully in half. Then we come to the feet and we get some very nice point, some excellent forward and some great rocker. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparison series with a couple other big boys. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the combatants fight for glory fails the Shredder figure from Zezray Studio is that this is a great figure. Just as Katachi was, uh, again, very much the same figure. However, definitely some tweaks like this figure, for mine anyway, isn't as squeaky. Um, it is worth noting that I had a harder time changing the hands for some reason, like that the entire joint would pop out. Uh, maybe that's not warming it up. I didn't actually warm up Katatu and didn't have any issues. So worth noting, there's a little bit of variation there. Uh, certainly if you have um, any sort of uh, experience with the first figure, but not with this one. Um, so yeah, there's some differences there, but always warm up your figures anyway. Uh, but in any event, really love the accessories, love the look. Um, this is actually the figure I had pre-ordered first. I just happened to luck out and, you know, Kataji was still available um, when that went up uh, kind of for general after LA Comic-Con. And uh, yeah, this one just absolutely delivers just as just as Kataji did. So <laughs> I hate to keep like drawing that parallel, but I mean, they're, they're again, very much the same figure just with some additions. That's that's what the game's all about, obviously. Um, but it works. And yeah, Definitely recommend it. So if this appeals to you and you need a really badass looking minotaur in your collection, then you can't go wrong here. So, uh, you know, this is available from various online resources. I'll have a link or two in the description below if you are interested. And that being said, I hope to see you again because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, of course, pro wrestling and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's talk about some beautiful plastic, escape the world for a while. But at the end of the day, I really just hope that you are well. Hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.